Good afternoon, everybody. How you all doing? Excuse me. Hang on. Let me clear the throat, eh? There we go. Good afternoon, everybody. Hello there. Hey, Lossy. Hey, mate. How you doing? I hope everyone's doing well. Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. We're in the middle of the week, getting close to the weekend. So we've got two cars here, obviously, because you can see them if you're watching. Uh, one on the right is one of our project cars, one on the left is uh, the storyline. So I've decided, because we've got three more cars to do up as projects, that I'll do a car, project car, and a storyline car. We did a project car on Monday, so we'll do the storyline car, then we'll do the project car and do the storyline car. You're just relaxing? How are you getting on with your little uh, hobby, mate? Oh, actually, I forgot to reply to you, didn't I? I saw you, but I was in the middle of, um, ironically, shooting people when I saw your message. Anyway, let's take a look at this, see what's wrong with it. I've done an, ins an inspection on it. I've run the uh, scanners and everything over it before we went live, just to save you from all that. And uh, I can't put it on the test thing, though. So I just got back from a business trip. And you wouldn't guess what was waiting for me. My beautiful car hopped in and set off on an evening ride. From the very start, something caught my attention. The car drove better somewhat. After this length, lengthy introduction, I will explain. It turned out my son had a little adventure with my car. I was impressed by his attitude because he took matters into his own hands. I must admit that the car never done better than after your repairs. You're a wizard. Today I've got my son's car for you and I want to repay him for making my gym give me even more pleasure from driving. The kid couldn't even afford a renovation. Please make the engine reach perfection and give it some spark. The bodywork also needs some love. Pimp this ride and add a bit more horsepower. Let the kid live a little. See you. Okay. Alright. The irony here. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Uh, well, if you're sure, mate. That's a whole lot of um, stuff and a whole lot of uh, new mental aspects on life. But um, yeah, all the best to you if you decide to go that way. Uh, so we've got a lot of parts not discovered here. So repair or replace body parts, change the oil, spray it factory colour. Means brake fluid increase the tuning of the car 10 to 15 percent for wheel alignment to calibrate. Okay, so change your oil. We'll do that first. We'll drain the oil out. And then I might be able to put it on the test because I took it over there and it said it had no oil. Yeah, I'm sure it was a tough one, mate. Bring it down. Right, let's have a quick look at the starter motor. The alternator looks good. Starter motor looks good. I think the fuel pump and all that's fine because I checked that with the scanner. Let's put the oil in, take it over to the test track, test track, test path, and see what else we can find wrong with it. Right, hopefully it'll do it. Yes. So we'll get this done and start working on the project car. See that neat little trick? You didn't. I was actually having a coffee and it did to drive forward and 
I was using my right hand, obviously, so I couldn't use the trigger to move forward, so I just pushed it against my leg. Brake pads, all that kind of stuff. So what's that unlocked? As in, didn't look like it was... Yeah, there's quite a bit. All right, let's go and have a look, see what we can find. So we've got to get it to 15 to 30%, I think it said, wasn't it? Uh, other tasks, 10 to 15. We've got to find some stuff to... Tune parts to stick in it. So we obviously can see they're gone, but they're aware of that. Fuel filter. Okay, so they're aware of that as well. Uh, how's my inventory look? Oh, I've got all this stuff on me. I need to get rid of it and then put the rest away. First, I have an empty inventory, so let's do that. First off, let's bring the inventory up. that will be a good idea. Sell parts below 30%. Go over here, get put everything into um, oh, actually I might keep um, rubber bushings or brick fuel pump no I don't need that so that can go over fuel filter we can keep that we'll just replace it We've got rims, calipers. Okay, so I just need to get rid of the tires and stuff. So, which warehouse was I putting that into? Okay, I put the wheels and 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 body parts into here. All right, so the wheel can go over. That can go over. That can go. That go. That. That and that. The rims. Right, so in warehouse three, you can put manifold, the head, the power steering, and the exhaust section. Go over. That and that. Now, electronics. They have a separate warehouse for electronics, I think, which is warehouse number two. Right. <clears throat> oh, hang on, did I put the fuel filter over? These are good questions. I mean, the fuel pump. Yeah, I did. Right, uh, let me just bring up chat overlay. I tend to forget this is the only game I can, so far, I can get chat overlay up on because farming some and ATS and ATS don't like that. They tend to hide it after a while. Right, so I'll take that one off. I'll, actually, I'll keep that. I might need to take all this off. So this is the interesting thing here. I think everything in the engine should be fine because I've tested it. Is it? Like, maybe the oil filter? Alright, let's, let's start off with um, changing the brake fluid, power steering. Oh, I should have done the wheel alignment while I was over at the test path. Hindsight. Actually, um, not really hindsight, is it? It's just paying attention, which I didn't do. Power steering, wherever that is. There it is. Empty. Right, I'm going to fill these back up. That sorts that lot out. So, all these missing parts leads me to believe, since we've done the testing, actually I thought, I thought the test path actually picked up the rubber bushings and stuff. I was just thinking maybe that's what a lot of the issue is. They're not in a very good, yeah, see it does. Okay, um... 
we've done those. So air filter, belt tension brake pads, spark plugs, two, four. Fuel filter. What are these other parts? Hang on. Yeah, filter. Oh, sorry, I was looking at the wrong bit. Um, actually, I should have put that onto. There we go. Brake tensor br and brake tensor and the belts down this side. So that and that one. I'll take that off first since you want me to, All right? And that one. Ah, we just leave it up finally. Uh, so this is the two belts. What else is this? Is a spark plug. Apparently that's all that's here, but. Let's take this off and have a look underneath here. See if we can't see something like that. 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 See, that was my, my thinking. It could be that possible. I want that off. Thanks. Gearbox is more oh, might be something to do with the gearbox. Actually, I think it picks that up as well. Let's take this off, but I don't think anything behind the ears and uh, it's it's fine, but it makes it easier to get to the wires anyway. Uh, so one, two, three, four spark plugs. We'll get some um, high performance ones. And I was going to put that fuel filter that I already had in, but I might actually get a high-performance one of that as well. Go towards the tune-up. So we need to take this off, get to the camshaft. Ah, belt tensioner as well. Oh, I totally missed that, didn't I? This belt looks like it's... Yeah, I'm putting that on the shopping list. You can tell that that's not in yeah, that it, I'm sure that's part of it as well. It's gotta be, right? Surely. The camshaft. Which begs the question, do I take the the head off here? No, the pistons should be fine, like I said. They should be fine. Mind you, no, it doesn't pick up the oh, and I might have Filled this up with oil for no reason. Ooh. Might have screwed myself there. Possibly. I'll do it as a last resort. We'll go through and we'll try and get the rest of the stuff. Right, what what are we looking like now? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine more parts to find. Would just be one. Didn't say, did it? Right, let's have a quick look around here. That looks all good. That doesn't. Let's 
Let's go to the other side. I'm guessing the wheels is the other thing, because look at the state of those. So if it's tyres and wheels, we've just found four. If it's just wheels, I think we've got two. There's another seven things to find. And the more I take off, and the less that's wrong with it, the more likely it is I've got to drain the oil out and... Um, Uh, we don't know what the oil filter is like, but thankfully, for some reason, unlike real life, you can take this off without spilling anything. Yeah, that'll be another one, wouldn't it? Look at that. So what have we got now? Oh, good. We're down to one, two, three, four more things to find. Oil filter was one of them. Still, could be there. Could be under that. Like I said, it would be a pain considering. Oh no, hang on. These ones definitely gonna need repairing. It's lucky I didn't do the alignment then because I'm gonna have to take the, the wheels off. Well the tires off the wheels. Everything looks good there, that's fine, that's fine. And everything looks fine here as well. So let's pull these wheels apart. If we ever look in the uh, the 18, 24%, but we just don't know if that's the wheels, the wheels and tires. So let's separate them and see see what we get. Which I think would actually cover everything, and I'm be okay. I don't have to take the bottom of the sump off or the oil pan, depending on what you want to how you call it. Looks like both, doesn't it? I just saw it on the top left there. Yes, I think we've covered it. Take them off, not put them on. Right, let's take a look. Uh be on the safe side I would assume it's all four four rims everything's unlocked now to say tires anywhere though yes there okay so one two yeah are they all the same size I've been caught by that before one two three four of those and four of these We've got everything. Let's see what we can fix. We can fix things that are not on the list. Now I've got to readjust my shopping list. Another one. All right. That's three rooms we can fix in it, so we're only going to need the one. But let's have a look. So we've got one, two, two three. So one rim. Um. One room. I'll get that now. Get the rims and the tires. So before I forget, uh, I've already forgotten the button to bring it up. That's the one I want. So we want one of you, tire thirteen. Um, so we've got that with tires. So we need to go to the tire shop for that. And uh, what have we got? So one seventy five seventies. 
Four of those. The rest of them, because I've repaired something and I've put it on my shopping list, and because I'm lazy, so I'll buy them as I go put the parts back on. Meanwhile, let's put these tyres back together. Wheels, should I say? Not tyres, wheels. Tyres, part of the wheel, isn't it? Along with the rim. Oh, actually, I've done that the wrong, wrong way. Right, now I'll put another one on. Now I'll do the balancing. Take that one off, put the other one on. Do the balancing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Getting ahead of myself, am I? Just a bit. This should be all four, hopefully. Right, so let's put stuff back on. This one, we only need to put the wheels on. Same with over here. I think I've got brake pads on me. I hope I've got brake pads on me. I've definitely got them in stock. All right, let's replace that, which I think I fixed. Yep. And let's put that one back on, which I fixed one of them, but not the other. All right. So I need to, what is that again? That's a uh, front drive axle. Front drive extra. I hadn't even put that on my list, get rid of that. Um, oh, there was a few things I hadn't even done. Okay. Oh, right, that makes it a bit easier. Brake pads. No. All right. Uh, do you know your own shop? No, I don't, do I? Uh, warehouse one, this should have brake pads, two of those. That was shocking, eh? I love how I get lost in my own shop, even still now. Everyone has a talent and that's mine, apparently. Getting lost in my own shop. making sure that um, I didn't need to replace it. Maybe didn't need to, I just repeat it. It sorts that out, doesn't it? Ooh, oil filter. I don't think that's on the shopping list, is it? No. Uh, oil filter. I definitely need the belts, though. Uh, let's get rid of that. Uh, definitely need that. So let's get rid of that. Um, the belts, because I couldn't fix those. Uh, which one did I just buy? That one, did I? Why didn't, why, why didn't I buy this one first? That is an excellent question, which I can't answer. Because I have no clue. Right, now... Belt tensioner in the camshaft. I don't know if I've repaired those, but while we're here, let's um, back out of here, back out of there, go to the tune-up shop and start with a air filter. And that's going to give us 1.75% uh, extra power. Fantastic. That's a nice small amount, so we've got plenty to go still. Air filter's done. Spark plugs, four of those. So three, four, which gives us hardly anything. Mm.
Well, let's put the rest of the stuff back on down the bottom here. You come to the right place, buddy. I'll be able to do that for you at a fair price, too. I won't charge over the moon. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Very good at rate reductions when it comes to fixing cars because I always end up with half the bolts and nuts left over. Uh, I did buy a few footer, didn't I? Right, that's the bottom of it done. Okay, so. What am I going to buy? I really haven't sort of increased the power just with the filter and the spark bugs, have I? 2% at the most. We need another 8 minimum, I think, wasn't it? 10 to 15%. <laughs> yeah, I used to work on my cars quite a bit. And I'd always have bolts left over. And I couldn't see where they were supposed to go. Look all over the place and everything like, ah, oh, no, 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 back out, back out. Belt tensioner. Didn't fix that after all. Um, no, that's not what I want. Uh, yes, that is what I want because I've really got it on the shopping list. I need to back out of there, go into there. Yeah, I know, gearboxes and stuff. Just getting the right blooming, um, you know, the camshaft I did fix. It's getting the right ratio. By doing the less work, the least amount of work, should I say. Because, you know, being a mechanic, actually, if I was a real mechanic right now, I would have put that bolt in and take a sip of my coffee, so I'm going to do that. All right, done that. So I put the belt on now. Take a sip of my coffee because I've just put that on. See, it's bringing back memories of when I used to work at mechanics. Yeah, I, I generally go with the mufflers uh, as because they're the easiest, and they do add a bit of power. Uh, we've put, got to put the spark plugs on and the air filter. So I'm going to go and have a look and see what we've got and how much power it gives us and work it from there. Give me the, oh, actually the leads. Hang on. Uh, I can do leads, can't I? Yes, I can. That gives us an extra 75%. Yeah. I've lost track now. That surely between that and the spark plug, surely that's one, so that's three percent in total. All right, okay, so we've got the leads. We're gonna have a look at the throttle body, intake manifold. Let's put that on the list. Let's put everything oh hang on, let's look at those. Let's put things on the shopping list that we might look at upgrading just to see how much we'll get for it. Um let's take that off and let's have a look at the exhaust manifold. Let's have a look at the exhaust. Let's have a look at the intake manifold. What else? What else? The rest of the exhaust system, I suppose, would be a good idea. That. 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 That fuel pump, possibly, as a last resort. And can I get it there? Find the right pixel. Here we go. <laughs> Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate the fact that you think I might have a great mind. 
Oh, let's have a look. Uh, intake manifold. So that's an extra 1.25%. That'll make it four. Yeah, I, I was sort of thinking about the fuel rail, but I couldn't remember. I should have just put it in there just in case, wouldn't I? Wouldn't have hurt. The gearbox, I'm in the wrong place for the gearbox. Try that again. Right, the gearbox. 1%. Spend 13 grand to get 1% extra. I could always do the clutch and all that. If I'm going to take the gearbox off, I might as well do the clutch. Clutch plate and the, um, and all that. Right, let's back out of there, go back to the tune up. So far, not looking good. Exhaust manifold will give us 1.5. Ooh, nine beepers. It's not much, is it? 1.75. 1.65. Point nine in the fuel pump, one point five. Yeah, I was thinking that. I'll check the um I'll check out that. And uh we'll go and have a look at the alternator as well. Let's see where that gets us. So I might end up having to buy the whole lot just to get the increase I need. Where were we up to? So the fuel pump, the fuel rail is 3 Oh, well, there you go. I'm definitely getting that. 3%. That's that sorted. There's 3% of it done. Alternator, 1.5. Let's get that. So that's 4.5%. So I think we're up to roughly 7.5. So I got distracted. I thought I was having an earthquake. Apparently not. Spark plugs. I've done the spark plugs. I've done the leads to the spark plug. Um, I don't know if it has the... Um, now, <laughs> you and me have both forgot what it's called. There. Um, coil. Ignition coil. Good thinking, actually. Good thinking. <gasps> no way. That should be it. Let's do that. I think I think we've got our ten percent, ten to fifteen percent here. You sir, are going on my Christmas card list for that suggestion. I'll tell you what. Fantastic. No, no, it's fuel injected. Pretty sure you don't get um, the distri distributor cat with fuel injection, just carbureted. Didn't I buy the fuel filter? Apparently not. I thought I did. I'm sure I did. Alright, we bought it in the alternator as well, don't we? So we've got to go back down here. I'll take it off and see where we're at. I'm sure I bought the fuel filter. I mean, if I didn't, then I can get away without buying the fuel filter. That's great. What else did I buy? Where's my inventory? Fuel. Oh, the fuel rail as well. Yeah, thought I got to put in. All right. Still confused at the fact that I didn't buy the fuel filter when I thought I bought the fuel filter. Maybe that was, you know, me falling into that trap again. I thought I did something. Thinking. Never goes right for me. One day I'll, I'll, I'll learn not to do it. Uh, fuel rail over here. 